Before proceeding, please make sure to subscribe Dental Maniac and turn on the bell icon for upcoming videos. Please do support my work with your likes, comments and shares and you can join me on Facebook and Instagram through the links given in the description box. For images and transcripts, please visit my Patreon page. Hi and in today's video, we will learn about the histology of salivary glands in detail. Before moving on with this video, please watch my previous video on the anatomy of salivary glands so that it will be much easier for you to grasp the concepts I'll be presenting in this video. The three main salivary glands we studied so far were the parotid, the submandibular and the sublingual glands shown here in the diagram. In order to understand the histoanatomy of these glands, we need to zoom in on a small portion of a gland. What we can see here is something that resembles almost a bunch of grapes. Well, these are the two main parts of the salivary glands. These two main parts are its secretory unit or SNI represented by the grapes and the ductal system represented by the stems of the bunch of grapes. The acinar part of the glands secretes the primary saliva shown here in blue. The primary saliva is the newly formed saliva which is then modified in the ductal system of the glands. The ductal system of the glands is composed of three types of ducts. Starting from a secretory end unit or SNI, these ducts are divided into the intercalated ducts, the striated ducts and moving away towards the oral cavity is the main excretory duct through which saliva is excreted into our mouth. The end pieces, either serous or mucus, on a closer and cross-sectional view, looks like a group of cells that surrounds a central hollow cavity filled with primary saliva. The SNI or secretory end pieces of serous and mucus cells differ in structure and in the types of macromolecular components that they produce and secrete. Let's look at the histology of each type of them. The SNI as said before is either serous SNI or mucous SNI. Let's look into the serous end piece or SNI first. The cells of the serous SNI are arranged in such a way that the SNI are spherical. Each of the serous SNI consists of almost 8 to 10 cells. On an individual view, the cells making these serous SNI are pyramidal with the broad base of the pyramid adjacent to the underlying connective tissue stroma and its narrow apex facing the lumen of the serous SNI. The lumen extends in between the cells in the form of finger-like projections called intercellular canaliculi. These intercellular canaliculi increase the surface area of the lumen. The nuclei of the serous cells are located basally and numerous secretory granules are seen in the apical part of the cytoplasm which is almost ready to enter the lumen via exocytosis. Other organelles like cytoskeletal components, mitochondria, lysosomes and peroxisomes just like all other cells are also observed in serous cells. Looking at the plasma membrane of the serous cells, it consists of so many specialized parts. At the luminal or the apical part, the plasma membrane is studded with a few short microvilli. The lateral and basal surface possess numerous folds that extend beyond the border of the adjacent cells so that they can interdigitate with similar processes from the adjacent cells. The infoldings are specifically there to increase the surface area of the cells. A variety of cell junctions located in between the cells are also observed. These junctions are listed as the tight junctions, gap junctions, adhering junctions, desmosomes and hemidesmosomes. These cellular junctions help in intercellular communication, hence allowing the passage of certain ions and molecules in between cells. They also hold cells all together, hence making the cells of the SNI a single functional unit. Coming to the mucus end piece or SNI, the mucus end pieces or mucus SNI have a tubular configuration. The central lumen of the mucus SNI is comparatively larger. A most important feature of the mucus end pieces is the presence of a demilune. 
Debulule is the arrangement of the serous cells in the form of a crescent at the end of the tubule or let's say at the finishing point of the asini. The serous cells of the demilune have the same characteristics as the serous end pieces. The lumen extends its finger-like projection only towards the demilune. If you zoom in on an individual cell, large amounts of secretory granules filled with mucus are observed in the cytoplasm of mucus cells, which pushes the nucleus and other organelles like the endoplasmic reticulum and Golgi against the basal cell membrane. Just like serous cells, mucous cells are also joined by a variety of intercellular junctions. And unlike the serous end pieces, the mucous end piece doesn't have intercellular canaliculi except at the site where they are surrounded by the demilune. Last but not the least are the myoepithelial cells. The myoepithelial cells are the star-shaped contractile cells associated with the secretory end pieces and intercalated ducts of the salivary glands. The myoepithelial cells possess numerous cytoplasmic extensions which extend from their cell body and wrap around the SNI and also the intercalated ducts. The myoepithelial cells are joined to the SNR cells by desmosomes. From an individual and closer view, the cells almost resemble a smooth muscle cell. The cells possess a centrally placed nucleus. It also contains numerous contractile filaments which help in the contraction of the cells, hence providing support for the end pieces during active secretion of the saliva. The cells also help to expel the primary saliva from the end piece into the ductal system. So, this was an overview of the histology of the secretory end pieces of the serous and mucous asini. The saliva initially is produced and secreted here and is named the primary saliva. The primary saliva then is transported to the oral cavity via a series of ducts which we will discuss in our upcoming video. I hope this video helps. Please do like, subscribe, share and comment if you have any questions or suggestions. Thank you for watching.